Hey everyone, it's David coming to you today from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio, and this is the first review of 2022, baby! We've made it through another year, beginning a new one. Oh, and you know, it's just, it's just, we're just changing the calendar, right? Yesterday is no better than today, tomorrow won't be any better than today. We hope it will be, but life goes on, so... What better way to start a new calendar than with a brand new, to me, bourbon, which is Four Roses. And you know, here's, here's why I picked this. I doubt that that worked, <laughs> the effect I was going for. Anyway, we found this decanter at an estate sale uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago up in Toledo. This is a legit Four Roses decanter that is probably from the early 70s, late 60s, early 70s. Um, but the bourbon that would have come into this in this decanter was not really, allegedly, really good bourbon. It was more of a neutral spirit, flavor, you know, like flavored with stuff, um, using the Four Roses name because the Four Roses brand was actually being marketed in Japan only at that time, while us here in the United States had to suffer not having real Four Roses. Uh, currently, uh, the brand is owned by Kirin Company, which is a Japanese brand. You may have heard of their Kirin beer. You may not have, but Kirin beer is apparently a really good Japanese beer. Um, when a Japanese think of bourbon, they think of Four Roses. It's their number one out there. Um, as far as a mash bill is concerned, here on this... 80 proof variation version, whatever you want to say. Apparently, they've got a recipe of 10 different mash bills that, you know, they age in barrels all over the place. Uh, and then they combine bourbon from those 10 mash bills and get what you get here. And of course, they dilute it to the 80 proof. But it is um, aged a minimum of five years. So I'm hoping that means that the youngest barrel that goes in here is five years old. <clears throat> um, that's all the technical stuff I could find on that. Um, the master distiller is Brent Elliott. There you go, Brent Elliott. No relation to me, by the way. Unfortunately, I did try to get the family discount when I went to the distillery back in May. And I got the single barrel over here, but the gals at the cash register just looked at me, laughed at me, and said they can't even get a discount. But I said, oh, my last name's Elliot, you know? What What the hey, you know? Anywho, it's $23 a bottle or so here in Ohio, so it's affordable. Uh, let's see how it tastes, right? Right. Let's get our little tasting glass here. And brand, brand new, brand new for 2022. And wow, did you hear that? Let's do that again. <laughs> nice uh, cork stopper. I think I may have had Four Roses some years ago, but I can't remember. So essentially this is gonna be a first taste of it for me. Um, what I did see in those rye, or the mash bills, it seems to be a very high rye bourbon. So, we'll see what we got here, right? Right. Um, it's light copper. I do smell the corn in there. It has that a nice rye spice. Just because it's the number one Japanese Sell, brand selling bourbon. How is it here, huh? Well, let's try. Mm. Wow. Hmm. 
quite the burn on the back of the throat. Very smooth up front on the tongue. But um, at that that's it's pretty nice. It's a very nice um, mid range. We're talking at Four Roses. This is their like entry level gateway bourbon. Um, but nothing wrong with it. Uh, for me, at the price point, it it ticks it ticks all the boxes. You say, ticking those boxes. We don't check them off like we do in the states. We tick the boxes. Um, but it is. It's a really nice. Mm. That would be really nice on the rocks as a mixer. I do get that spiciness from the rye. Um, and so let's let's try something new since it's a new year. I'm going to score this and we'll see how my score might compare to your score on it. So let's figure it out. And this is the score I'm giving for roses. I think I'm comfortable in giving this an eight. Um, some of the things in my brain, price, 23 bucks for this. I think it's an excellent value. It's a little bit more expensive than your Jim Beam or something like that. But, you know, there are other whiskeys that are a little like less expensive that I would prefer. But, you know, for, for a definitive Kentucky bourbon, <clears throat> I think it's, adds a solid nine. Packaging is nice and elegant. Um, also, is this something I would serve to guests? Yeah, I would. Um, how about the the overall value? You know, you can do it as a sipper or on the rocks, as a mixer. That's really good. The thing that brought it down for me, the score, is as a daily drinker. I wouldn't drink this every day. <clears throat> um, there's other brands that I personally prefer. But overall, I give this a solid eight for the four roses. So that's four times two is eight. All right. All right. And um, it holds up. So there you have it. Four roses. Pretty good stuff. All right. So until next time, it's David coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you next time with another review. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.